Hey guys, with school out for the summer, the kids are so active every day. From swimming and tennis to golf and soccer, they are constantly on the move. And I love helping them fuel up and to recover from those activities with these power balls. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So let's go through our ingredients. You'll need some oats, preferably quick cooking, flaxseed meal, peanut butter, honey, and mini chocolate chips. And then an optional ingredient of collagen peptides. So you can mix these balls by hand or you can do it in the food processor, which I'm doing today. First you're gonna add your oats, and I'm using quick cooking because you're not cooking these, the texture will be a little bit better. And next I have some flaxseed meal, which I use a lot because it has tons of protein and fiber in there. And then I've got some peanut butter. Now you can mix it up with any nut butter or you can even use sunflower seed butter. And now we'll process until everything comes together, which takes about a minute or two. At this point, you can add your optional ingredient of collagen peptides. Now this is such a cool product. Collagen is great for hair and skin, and there are 18 grams of protein in just two tiny scoops of this. So what I love to do on the weekends, on Saturday morning, I make a double batch of these Power Balls. I put collagen peptide in half, and those are the ones I give to my kids after their activities. I leave it out for the other half, and I give those to the kids before all their activities. So I'm gonna put two scoops in this batch. So one of the reasons I like to use a food processor for these Power Balls is it helps cut the oats and the kids really prefer this texture to having the whole oats, they're a little bit chunkier. So I'm going to scrape down this and you can tell it's starting to be a little bit sticky but we're going to need the honey as our glue. My summer helper has joined me and now we need to add the honey with the motor running. So you want to hit on? All right. Does it look good? All right, perfect. Yummy! <laughs> now I'll scrape down the sides before adding the chocolate chips. Can I help you, Mommy? Yeah, you can help me. No, no, don't eat it. Next, we're at our mini chocolate chips. You can do this by hand, but I like to do just a quick little whirl in the food processor. You want to do it for me? No, oh, after he steals one. All right, you want to dump it in now? Does it look good? Should we process it now? Now that our dough is totally formed, we're gonna roll them into little balls. Do you wanna help me? Okay, we'll give Ryder a little bit. There you go. You do your rolling and I'll do mine. And I like to make them about an inch in diameter. <laughs> what are you doing? That's not a ball. What are you making? A taco. A taco? Look at that. Now. Oh my goodness. Can you make it into a ball? Look how mommy does it. Ready? I'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure just so they're compact. Now, when do you like to have your Power Balls, Ryder? When do you eat um, your Power Balls? After. Oh, you like to eat them after? After swimming? Is swimming hard work? Yeah. It is. What other sports do you like to play? Um, basketball and football. Basketball and football? And soccer. And soccer, yeah. Now we'll let these firm up in the fridge, which takes a few hours. I love how easy these Power Balls are to whip up and how much my kids actually love them. I am constantly catching them, sneaking a few for themselves. Brooksy, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye, Bye guys. guys.